Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about percent of change. We're going to find each percent change to the nearest percent, and state if it's an increase or a decrease. So if I was given this problem from 259 hours to 274 hours. So 259 hours to 274 hours. Okay, well... We need to know is that an increase or a decrease first, and that is actually an increase, right? 259 goes up to 274, so that's an increase here, increase. So I'm right here to the side. So let's go find the difference between uh, these two to see how much, how many numbers, or how, you know, how many hours of it increases of it, is it? So 274 minus 259, we subtract the two, you know the large number first here, at least that's the problem. 4 minus 9, oh, can't do, do it using the traditional method, so we'd make that a 6, 14, so 14 minus 9 comes out to be good old 5. 6 minus 5 is a 1, and 2 minus 2 is a 0. Don't worry about it. So we have actually a 15 hour increase from 259 to 274. I take that 15 and I divide it by my first number, which is 259. Well, 15 divided by 259, let's use the calculator here, and that comes out to be approximately 0.05. Seven nine, okay. So zero point zero five seven nine. <clears throat> so what do we do here? Well, that's a decimal, and we need to convert that to the per percent. So let's move that uh, decimal over two spots, right? So one two, and that gets me uh, well right here five point seven nine percent approximately. But I need to round that. Well, I just care about the number right next to the decimal. It's a seven. That seven is five and up, right? So it's greater than 4 in a sense, or greater than or equal to 5. 7 causes that 5 to round up, so we actually have a 6% increase here. So we have a 6% increase. So let's recap. We started with 259 hours to 274 hours. We found that dip, oh, we, we first saw that it was going up, so it's an increase, right? It's been increasing hours. We take that 274, uh, sorry, and we subtract 259 from it to get 15. We then take that 15 hours and we divide that by our first number, 259. Got it, that got us approximately this decimal, 0 0.0579. We move the decimal over two units to get 5.79% to convert the decimal to percent, but then we needed to round it. We rounded that decimal, or that percent here. Uh, the seven caused the five to round up to a six, and so we have a final answer of a 6% increase.